Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats, and today is the last and final day of canned meat week. And we've saved something special for the end. That's right. It may or may not be the best. We'll let you know at the end of the video which one was the best of the week, but this is definitely the most interesting. This is the Zwan Chicken and Beef Luncheon Loaf. This is from Zwanenberg, Holland for their US subsidiary in Ohio. So here's the thing, this is a halal meat product. So it's targeted to the Muslim market, right? Yes. Here in America, so this is halal and uh, beautiful packaging, I like it. Now I believe we got this at Walmart. It was $4.58 at Which, Walmart. That is a lot of money. Making it by far like more than two times the cost of the average of all of these products. So who knew that the Middle Eastern Muslim market loved spam and they were just dying for their own alternative version, right? Yeah. They wanted something that doesn't have pork. So this has mm -hmm. chicken and beef. You know what that means that like somebody from um, the Middle East went to Europe, tried spam mm -hmm. and they were like, wow. Now I gotta find a way to like eat this at home without my yeah. parents like, you know, finding out. <laughs> we so gotta were, get in on this. Yeah, we gotta get in on this, man. <laughs> now here's the thing, I hate the packaging. I think it looks so generic and like just bad. I don't like it. I think it looks like a premium product. Yeah. No, I don't feel like it. Um, but here is the most interesting part of this entire dish here. The ingredients are mechanically separated chicken, water, beef, potato starch, beef heart, salt, and then 2% or less of the other things. Did you catch that? Wow, oh wow. <laughs> Say that again, it was what? Beef heart. Yeah, so that's the thing, because when we opened this thing up, it looked like it had a... A chunk of heart on it. Yeah, like a chunk of heart. It was like <laughs> something going on there, man, like a bubble or something like that. Yes. Whenever I opened it up, I was like, there's the heart. It was just like staring <laughs> at us. So that was a little scary. Yes. Now, I will admit here, I did not cut these pieces off of that end of it. Thank goodness. I because couldn't go that far. Like, it makes me question the quality because couldn't they have like just chopped, chopped that, it up. you know what I mean? Like chopped that part up. Why do you have to like have it like standing at the top, staring greeting at the customer? Greeting you. Yeah, greeting you. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. You know, it's a, it's scary. It is scary, but you know what? This is the most expensive one, so it had better taste the best. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you, if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This thing is pretty interesting because I was expecting this to be really gross. It's not. Now, the thing is that when you're eating this, the most important thing you notice is the spices because it's... Similar to Indian food, there's a lot of spices in it, and that's what dominates here. That's what you taste. Um, you don't really get to enjoy the meat, right? Because you just, it's like all these aromatic um, smells just, just hitting you and stuff, you know? And not what you're expecting with freaking luncheon meat, right? Mm -hmm. This thing also, when you're trying to uh, uh, like cut it up with your fork, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. I was having to like wrestle with it, you know, which I didn't like. For me, this is a thumbs down. Okay, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. It's actually not because of the questionable ingredients though. Maybe actually a little bit. Here's the thing. It is quite spiced, which is different. And I feel like it just didn't seem to go with the 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 overall dish, you know? like. Like, I think if you added those spices to spam, you'd be like, what is this, you know? It just doesn't seem to, to be complimentary to it. But the other part is, I'm not sure that beef lends itself to this type of product. I feel like what makes the others actually is the chicken and pork mixture or just the pork. Yeah. Because it gives it a special kind of flavor. This one doesn't have that flavor, like that typical spam flavor. Like, take away the spices, even without those, it doesn't taste like spam. It doesn't taste like 
the typical like luncheon loaf that we would be used to. So I think for like the American palette, I don't think that it would be what we're really looking for because I felt like it was almost kind of bland. Like aside from the spices, the flavor of the meat just didn't really give me what I was looking for. Now, I do think that the texture is pretty good. It's not bad. Um, it's definitely not as pate-like as it looked, but it is kind of tough. Like we heated all of these up in the skillet and I feel like heating it up the exact same amount that we would normally heat something up, it developed a thicker skin on it, which did make it more tough to cut through. But I just think that the flavor was not quite there. All right guys, the time has come. It's the end of the week. We're gonna determine which one was our least favorite and which one was our favorite. And so for me, the least favorite was Libby's. For me as well, the Libby's. Now, interesting thing since that review is that we found out that Armor is also owned by ConAgra, who owns Libby's. And that explains why Armor didn't do as well because I thought they would win, right? But fortunately for Treat, Libby's was really bad. Like, to the point that I'm gonna suggest they just like shut down <laughs> Libby's, just sell it off. Wow. Okay, that is very intense. Well, I feel like it was definitely the worst of the week, but now what is your best of the week? So surprising, my favorite was Martin's. Really? Yes, I like that. Even though it was a little salty than I would like it to be, I thought that was the closest, the closest to spam. Hmm. Is that all of your yep. remarks? Okay, for me, my favorite of the week was Martin. They, by far and away, was the most similar to spam. Like I would say that that was like a 99% copy of spam. Whereas the others couldn't really come much closer than like 50% similar to spam. That's all you gotta do, just copy freaking spam. Yes, and it's a shock because I feel like they had one of the least appealing looking packaging, but they copied spam almost identically. But I will say, Treat would be my second because I did like the flavor of it. To sum it up on this one, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.